The Advantages and Disadvantages of Bard AI and ChatGPT Welcome to another episode. If you enjoy this type of content, then subscribe and hit the bell icon so you'll never miss out on any of our latest and greatest uploads. In this video, we're going to go over the advantages and disadvantages of both Google's Bard and Microsoft-backed ChatGPT. Advantages and Disadvantages of ChatGPT ChatGPT, or Generative Pre-Trained Transformer, is a web-based chatbot and a generative artificial intelligence application developed and launched by the American Artificial Intelligence Research Laboratory, OpenAI, in November 2022. It is based on the GPT-3 model that uses artificial intelligence systems such as machine learning and deep learning and natural language processing and large language models to produce human-like text and human-like conversation with its users. The technology has gained popularity across varied groups of individuals since its launch. The reception includes a mixture of praises for its advantages and potential applications, as well as criticisms due to its limitations and possible drawbacks. Examining Chatbots A look into the advantages and disadvantages of ChatGPT Pros of ChatGPT Notable Advantages and Applications Number 1. Imitates Human Conversation the core feature of ChatGPT centers on providing human-like conversation based on user-placed queries or commands. It is generally similar to virtual assistant technologies and software applications such as Siri from Apple and Alexa from Amazon. However, considering its capabilities, it mimics real-life conversation because it is based on more advanced supervised learning and reinforcement learning using large language models. Number 2. Built based on GPT-3 model GPT-3, or Generative Pre-Trained Transformer 3, is an autoregressive language and language prediction model developed by OpenAI. It is the largest non-sparse language model and has been considered one of the most important AI systems ever produced. The quality of texts it generates makes it difficult to ascertain whether or not it was written by a human. Number 3. Expansive Applications and Benefits the chatbot is versatile. It can write outputs similar to commercial AI copywriters. Experiments have shown that it can even compose music and produce works of fiction such as short stories. It can help content creators or technical writers produce an outline. The chatbot can also summarize, digest, and explain large bodies of text. Another interesting application of ChatGPT is that it can also write and debug computer programs. Number 4. Open for further fine-tuning. Another advantage of ChatGPT is that its responses and overall performance can be fine-tuned. It banks on existing large language models, while also having room for further improvements through active training, using supervised learning and reinforcement learning. A user can upvote or downvote a particular response, while also providing additional feedback. Cons of ChatGPT – Notable Disadvantages and Criticisms Number 1 inaccuracies and ambiguities. One of the biggest criticisms and limitations of ChatGPT is that it sometimes tends to produce texts that sound plausible or convincing but are incorrect or nonsensical under the surface. This phenomenon is called hallucination, and it is common in language models. Furthermore, when it comes to obtaining information, it does not provide references or citations. Using this chatbot alone for research purposes and electronic trailing is not ideal. Number 2. Limited Knowledge of Recent Events The version launched in November 2022 can only provide information about events occurring in 2021 and earlier. It will soon provide more recent events as it continues to feed on data based on human-generated texts. Nevertheless, considering this drawback, users should keep in mind that it has limited knowledge of facts because it uses data sets that are not updated. Number 3. Ethical Issues and Concerns Another disadvantage of ChatGPT is that it has been subjected to scrutiny. Several educational institutions have banned its use. Researchers and creatives have worried about copyright infringement because its outputs are based on human-generated texts. It also raises the question of whether it is ethical to use it as a substitute for services that require human interactions, such as customer service representation and even therapeutic counseling. Number 4. Other Possible Legal Implications 
GPT was built with data from the Common Crawl dataset, which contains copyrighted materials from publishing companies and individual authors and researchers. Experts have also warned that AI-based applications can be used for cybercriminal activities. ChatGPT and other derivatives face legal uncertainties and possible compliance costs. What is Google Bard? Everything you need to know about ChatGPT's rival. Google Bard AI should change the way you search and is coming soon. In a blog post on February 6, Google announced Bard, an AI chatbot. With ChatGPT taking the world by storm, it was expected that Google would be working hard on a response, and Bard appears to be its first shot at OpenAI's chatbot. Google Bard AI News We still don't know a ton about Google's new AI-powered tool. It's limited to trusted testers at the moment, with a public release in the near future. But there's enough out there that we can answer some of the biggest questions about Bard AI, especially after Google officially showed off the product at a Paris event on February 8th. Google Bard, what is it? Google Bard is an AI chatbot, similar to ChatGPT. And just like ChatGPT, it is powered by a language model to converse with users. Bard uses a language model for dialogue applications, LAMDA, as its model though it will start out using a stripped-down version of the massive language model for the initial testing phase. Google Bard, how does it work? Much like with other chatbot AIs, Bard is designed to be conversational. That means users interact with it by typing in a query or request into a text box, and then the AI, in this case Google Bard, will churn out a response using a conversational tone. For example, if you ask Bard about what new discoveries from the James Webb Space Telescope can I tell my nine-year-old about, it will search through the information it has been trained with and return with a response to your questions. In this case, that response will be a couple of discoveries from the JWST that you can tell your child about. But be careful to double-check the information Bard provides. Google used this example in a demo, and it got the answer embarrassingly wrong. Google Bard, what can you do with it? At the moment, we don't know everything that Bard can do, but Google has provided us with a couple of examples. Plan a friend's baby shower? Compare two Oscar-nominated movies? Get lunch ideas based on what's in your fridge? This has it missing some capabilities that ChatGPT has, like the ability to write research papers, poems, or code for a basic website, though there are a couple of caveats to that statement. First, Google hasn't said everything Bard can and can't do yet. Second, Bard appears to be focused on being a tool to augment Google search, so Google may simply not have it currently set up for functions that don't directly provide better, more contextual search results. Google Bard, who can use it? At the moment, only trusted testers can use Bard AI, so if you haven't received an invite from Google, most likely you are stuck waiting with the rest of us. There is good news though, Google says that AI-powered features will be coming to Google Search soon, so hopefully we won't be left waiting too much longer to test out Google Bard's capabilities. At the February 8th Paris event, Google also announced AI-based features added to Maps and Lens. Google Bard, is it free? At the moment, it appears that Bard will be free for now, though Google has yet to provide confirmation one way or the other. It would be surprising for Google to charge for the consumer-facing version, for example, a version intended for everyday users, of Bard given that it doesn't charge for Google Search. But given ChatGPT Plus exists as a subscription service from OpenAI back to Microsoft, anything is possible. Google Bard vs. ChatGPT – What's different? Right now, the biggest differences are the language model used by the chatbots and access to the chatbot itself. ChatGPT uses GPT 3.5, a version of OpenAI's generative pre-trained transformer language model. It is currently available to the public in what OpenAI is referring to as a research preview. Google Bard also uses a language model, but it's a model called Language Model for Dialogue Applications, or LAMDA. While there are nuanced differences between how the two models work, the biggest difference is that GPT 3.5 stopped being trained in 2021, and therefore some of its information is outdated. Though a GPT 4 is expected to come soon, with up-to-date training. And in fact, the newly announced GPT-powered Bing search engine may even be using it. Meanwhile, LAMDA is constantly trained, so its information could be more accurate and up-to-date, 
than what ChatGPT produces. For now, BARD is still limited to only trusted testers, though public access is expected to be announced in the coming weeks. And with that, we've reached the end of this video, all about the advantages and disadvantages of BARD AI and ChatGPT. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more content just like it.